the fourth, what led to that collapse? We lost by 10, I wouldn't call that a collapse. We just couldn't score the ball um, enough down the stretch. We had shots, we just couldn't knock them down. Their switches gave us trouble. Um, and we didn't attack those well. And then we just had some bad fouls um, on inbounds plays. We gave up a transition three where no one saw Clowney. His 17 off the bench was uh, pivotal. Uh, Thomas and, and Schroeder typically score the ball the way that um, they did tonight, especially Thomas. But the guys fought their tails off. Um, we had a relatively long flight last night and landed in Newark about an hour drive to the hotel. You get in at 3.30 and to have that kind of energy and effort uh, to start the game was huge for us. But when you look at the point totals in the second, third, and fourth, the highest we had was 26. We just couldn't make shots, maybe because we were tired. There were times where we were a bit uh, unorganized offensively. And then we were in a lot of late clock situations where we just had to cast up a shot. And that put us in a bit of a bind. But I'm proud of the way they responded to last night because that kind of competition um, gives you a chance to win with everybody that we had out. JD being a late scratch um, before the game, and Wise, Metu, and Taj all stepping up, playing big time minutes for us tonight. That was um, huge for us. But to your point, we just couldn't score the way that we needed to to set our defense. And then the times we missed, they were out in transition. And that's typically where any NBA team is, is pretty lethal. And we just couldn't counter that with, with enough scoring. Yeah, despite the final result, you see the, the team pretty much control. I think they led from 11 minutes in to pretty much the three minute mark. What do you think led to them being able to kind of shake off the rust from last night and hit 17 three pointers, which I think was the highest? I just think we, we competed. I, I've said that about this group, um, and I've said that about teams in general. It, the, the talent level is what it is in the NBA, but if you compete, you give yourself a chance. I thought our guys competed. That, that was Pistons basketball as far as competition. Um, sometimes you can't control the ball going in, and you know that's just basketball. But I, I think the difference was we, we brought great effort. Um, we knocked down shots early. We had a 35-point first quarter. We haven't seen that in a while. But the competition level uh, that we put forth on the floor is something that I, I was proud of, especially after last night and the travel and uh, the back-to-back -back -back that we <laughs> might be a record for back-to-backs in the season. It's, it's, it's unreal how many back-to-backs and the kinds we've had this year. With that kind of travel, it's, it's pretty fun. I could say something here and get myself in a bit of trouble. <laughs> I'm just going to decline. Yeah. And Sass here had, he's stuck like, his minutes are probably going up with the, the injury. It seems like he finally grew tonight after having some rough nights. Was there yeah. anything different from tonight or was it just? just told him to go play and be yeah. Sass. Uh, we had a really cool discussion before the game. I just just wanted to see him go out there and compete. I said, if you're going to make a mistake, make a hard one, but don't be passive. You know, he, he was not playing at the level that I felt like he needed to play from a energy, from a just a toughness and grit and get after it. You know, we need him to eat rocks when he's on the floor, and um, I thought he did.